But tell me a little bit more about Amanda, because every time we talk about, you know, part of the reason why you continue to go and you said like she wants you to continue working out and you always talk about how much she inspires you. And yeah. he could easily tell you the same thing. Like, well, you know, 16 years, like we we did it right. Um, especially yeah. um, in baseball, where it's hard to have those many that many years in MLB. So what how has she inspired you? I think it's going to get deep quick, but like the it's really hard to do two career dreams goals when you're a baseball family it's really mm -hmm. hard for both of you i know some people do god bless their souls um teammates whose wives have been doctors and teammates whose wives have had so many yeah i've heard all the occupations possible um amanda's a nurse and basically we got to the point where she gave up her career as a nurse so that we could pursue my career as a baseball player Right. And from like a financial standpoint, that makes the most obvious sense in the world. Um, but, you know, life's a lot deeper than money and it's a lot deeper than anything. Like she gave up her dream so that my dream could become our dream. Mm -hmm. And so me doing anything other than giving it every last ounce that I can is disrespectful to her. Wow. And so it's like one of these things where it's like, she put so much of her life, so much of her world on pause. I can't tell you how many times we've said someday we'll get mm -hmm. to go do this. Someday we'll get to go do that. And, you know, I've, I want to say we've, yeah, we've known each other more than half of our lives. Mm -hmm. And so like, you know, we've just been through a lot. Um, and she just is constantly waiting for me constantly after games after practices after everything throughout the whole just everything a part of this journey she's just been waiting and so for me not to give this everything i have i feel is super disrespectful to her and what mm -hmm. she gave up so that my dream could become our dream if that makes wow. sense it does and she could easily say like now it's my turn right like she could easily do all yeah. of that and she's still that's amazing yeah and she's um she's back working right now um, mostly because if you don't work a certain amount, you lose your license. And mm -hmm. so she's, she's working back right now. She's, uh, she's always worked in spine, spinal. She's a nurse. She always done spine surgery. Um, she's always just worked in that field. Um, and so she's got that. She works two days a week at a, at a, at a specialty clinic here in town. And it's been, it's been good, but, uh, I definitely saw how nervous she was cause it'd been a couple years since she uh she was working as a nurse but the yeah it, it exactly that like it, she could turn around and say hey now it's my turn to pursue this but mm -hmm. um you know baseball is uh you know if you go if you go have success it takes care of you right financially mm -hmm. and so i think also too like there's that hope that i could still get back and be the next rich hill kind of kind of situation and then yeah. we can retire by age 40 and go start skiing and Could do the things biking. that you someday wanted to do all the things we've wanted to do like she makes fun of me um because like i've never been to like montana or anything yeah. like that so i didn't grow up road tripping like like her family did and like i really want to go do all these things but i'm not going to go drive through montana in december like i don't yeah. want to deal with that that we stress. don't know like, i haven't had a I, spring break in a very long time i don't know what right. the spring break is yeah Right. We, I, I was, I mean, this would have been like our third Valentine's day together, but I went to Seattle for the week to go to driveline, but you know, we almost had Valentine's day together this year. Wow. I'm still, um, that's usually when oh, spring training starts, right? It's usually mm -hmm. on Valentine's day. And a lot of times I go out there for the first week by myself and then her and Jackson come. Um, they just like, let me get that, that first week kind of off my, my body. Let me actually sleep all night kind of deal. Now Jackson sleeps like all night anyway but back mm -hmm. when he was younger you know they let me go by myself a little early kind of deal but the yeah it's just just to, to tie up that part of it it's like she's been giving so much of her self to letting me pursue this that like i said it would be disrespectful to her but also to like it, it really has become her dream too yeah like, there's almost times where i feel like she's more excited about a good outing than i am mm -hmm. or she's more excited about a contract than I am, or she's more excited about just me accomplishing something than I am because, and we just really, you know, it's, it's good. She keeps me, she keeps me headed the right direction. She keeps me going where I need to go. And, uh, like I said, like, it's just, she's given up so much to, to let me pursue this, that, 
Um, I, I told her the other day that like, as much as I'm doing this for, for anything in, in the world, like I'm doing this for you and for mm -hmm. Jackson, like, yes, for myself too. But like, yeah. I really want to get back to see her in that major league stadium proud one more time oh, and hopefully Lord, a lot yeah. more than one more, but like, it's, you know what I mean? Like yeah. get back there. Felt like I was close when I signed with the D backs a couple years ago and all yeah. those guys decided to shove and not get hurt. And yeah. you just, that's what you sign up for when you sign up for one of these triple A jobs that you just got to hope that, you know, you're, you're the, the right guy whenever the, the need arises. Um, but yeah, just really, yeah, I got a lot of reasons why I'm still doing this, but uh, it definitely starts at the top with uh, with her and with Jackson.